what's going on guys I want to make a real quick video showing you the uh, bottle opener or uh, cork bottle opener on the Victorinox knives or any Swiss Army knife um, this one's actually a hiker this is a wanger brand and this one happens to have the uh, corkscrew as well as this other uh, wanger Evo model which is one of my favorites I actually EDC this all the time none of my purse have been in my bag um, super comfortable and the main blade actually has you know a lock on it which is nice uh, maybe I'll do a review on that in the future, but this one also has a bottle opener and <clears throat> this actual Victorinox model with the custom scales also has a Cork bottle screw. opener. Yep, corkscrew. So we're going to be uh, opening this bottle of red, this is cheap table wine. Uh, so I want to show you how to use this. A lot of people actually don't know how to do this. And I know some of you might shake your head and go, oh my god, who doesn't know how to do this? But trust me, <laughs> the most simplest things are looked up on YouTube. So. Basically what we want to do is open your tool, okay, place the very tip towards the center. You see I already have a hole, I kind of pierced it and I backed it out to make this video, but you want it towards the middle. And what I'll do is I'll just turn the bottle. And when I turn the bottle, what it's doing is it's literally digging itself down into the cork. Now this particular bottle has like a foam cork, it's not actual cork material. But you want to turn this down about three quarters of the way. All right, so it's nice and tight and snug. All right, now I want to do this without I turn this around a little bit because I don't want to smack the camera. I'm trying to give you guys a good angle. Basically, what I do with these types of um, uh, corkscrews is I'll put my hands like this, okay, so that my fingers are above the top of the bottle. This way, when I put my fingers in here, I'm actually, by, by squeezing down with my off hand, my left hand, it's pushing up and it's putting constant pressure on here. So what I want to do is instead of pulling this all the way until it pops out, um, I want to just get it up just a little bit so it's a little bit easier to pull out. All right, you don't want this thing going flying across the room. So first off, with the right hand, this corkscrew always opens to the center because it allows you to put it in between your hand just like this. Obviously, this would be a very effective uh, defensive tool as well. But the, the reason you're doing this is so you have a nice good grip. Um, you can put it in the middle of your fingers like that, or more commonly, you put it like this in your hand. All right, so that's the first thing I'm doing. In this case, I'm gonna actually do this, and put this just like this. So my fingers, my pointer fingers going to the one side, the rest of my fingers going to the other side. All right, then I'm gripping up really, really high, okay, so that when I squeeze my hand together, it's actually forcing you know pressure upwards. So by doing that and pulling at the same time, I'm just flat on the table. I'm also doing fine tripod, so it's a little bit more difficult. But by doing that, I lift up that cork just enough, all right, so that I can lift my hand up again and repeat the process. So I lift my hand up again, pull a little bit, see how much that lifts up, all right, and same deal. And I climb my way up, and the higher it gets, the easier it's going to be to pull out. Okay, so one more time. There you go. All right, so a real simple process, and then, of course, you... Take the corkscrew back off. You don't really want to reuse them because if I, if I were to put this back in the bottle, first of all, it's extremely tight, but if you were to snug that back in the bottle, because it's already you know poked through, it's gonna start uh, breaking off into little pieces, could get in the wine. And the worst thing that happen is if it obviously breaks in half and it gets stuck in there. You don't want that problem, so what I usually do, is once I open a bottle, I have some kind of a uh, bottle top. This is from a, a uh, single malt scotch that I saved. And this works perfectly. Actually, this one's a little loose, so let me grab another one real quick. All right, that one's a little loose, so I'm using this. This is a progressive um, shape. You see, these are very, very common. This one happens to have a bulldog on it, because I love it. But uh, this actually works with all different size uh, diameters. All right, so as it goes in, it gets more and more snug towards the top. All right, so that'll basically keep the oxygen from coming out of the bottle until I'm ready to use it, pour it. So, that's pretty much it. That's how you use the corkscrew on a uh, Swiss Army knife. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care.